Good morning. It is such an exciting morning. We are so excited about this play. It is also so amazing to see everybody here, all the first time guests, family members. Um, I know the kids really appreciate it and are so glad you guys are here. Um, we have worked so hard on this play this year. Well, the students have worked really hard on the play this year. Um, and they have just done such an amazing job. I just want to say thank you to all the students, all the kids, for all of your guys' hard work. We've had such a good time. We've constantly reminded ourselves that everything we're doing is to glorify God. We're not doing this to put on performance. Um, we're here to tell the Christmas story and give another perspective. Um, thank you to all the parents for sacrificing your time to bring them here and you know, all the different rehearsals and the different things that the kids you know, have really enjoyed it, so I really appreciate it. Um, thank you to Laura. That was an amazing girls program. Girls dance. Yeah. 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 The biggest thank yous for me is, um, not the biggest, sorry. Uh, Brooke Benson and Courtney Lee have taken over and really led, been a big leadership in the play this year and doing the program. Um, they will actually be the ones directing it, to be the ones directing it today. So really appreciate their help. So we all know the story, right? We all know Mary and Joseph stayed in a stable. Uh, it's where baby Jesus was born, and we all know about that kind of that night. Um, our performance today is to retell that story. Uh, we've added some fictional characters. Um, I don't think the Bible had talking sheep, but we do. Um, so we've added some fictional characters, and our main mission is to really give us like a front row seat to what it might be like to uh, see that holy night on the front row. Before we get started, I want to remind everybody. Directly after service, we will be having cookies and hot chocolate, and we'll be meeting the cast, and it'll be a lot of fun. Um, so nobody leave after. We'll get some pictures, and then we'll all go to the fellowship hall, hang out with the cast, tell them how amazing they did. All right, without further ado, all about that baby. to take my turn watching the sheep. Okay, okay, I had intended to get up early. As usual, things weren't going quite like I planned. I know, I know, it's hard to believe, but I wasn't always the polished, respected shepherd I am today. Sorry, just running a little late. There's sure a lot of people traveling today. It's the census. We all have to be counted by decree of Caesar Augustus. I'm Joanna, and this is my little sister, Simone. Wanna stay and hang out with us? Sir, I need to go watch my sheep. Nice to meet you, though. Gotta go! What I didn't know was that day had set into motion events that would change the course of my life and of history.
Besides, I like having a break, being out in the fields. I think it's peaceful out here. There's enough to do helping out at home. I can sit back, put my feet up, and... Those are my sisters. Everyone in the pasture, or everyone in the family helps out in the pasture. They're on early morning shift. <laughs> oh, there you are, Nathaniel. How's your trip through town? Baron has laid his trip over the sheep. I've heard people have been riding by the hundreds. More people than I've ever seen. I tripped over some nice kids, Joanna and Simone. They hear for the senses, but on to more important things, the sheep. How's back this foot? As being just beginning enough of exercise, I promised John to have left him, stretch out his left hind foot, he injured it last week and was up the fence class. <laughs> 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 Daniel, seriously, you talk about them like they're your friends. How, what? They're just sheep, Abigail. Don't be crazy. What kind of person would be friends with sheep? I was friends with the sheep. <laughs> For me, it was all about those sheep. <laughs> Have fun with your friends, Nate. We'll be back when the sun goes down. <coughs> I have a peaceful, easy feeling with my sheep. I mean, I, I mean, I knew they couldn't actually talk, but when I looked into their eyes, it was like I could almost hear what they were thinking.
So I thought I would try it. You know, what harm could it be to try a different style? Are you talking about that botched hairstyle you tried out last season? It looked like you, it looked like you had been hit by lightning. <laughs> it's called a crimping iron, boys. It's totally on fleece. It was there any It was supposed to evaporate. Who was supposed to? Definitely real angels. 
And what was even more unbelievable was their announcement that the Messiah was to be born as a baby. But we always thought he would come with great power. Yes, definitely. Everyone will know when the Messiah has come. Definitely. The prophets say he will bring a new kingdom. But the angel said the Messiah is a baby? Could that be true? What if he's not supposed to lead a battle here on earth? Could it truly be all about that baby?
wise men who had arrived after their long journey. But we never forgot to be one of the first ones to be home.